What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the LA Auto Show, deep within Los Angeles. And guess what? Walking around, we had to stop at the Ram section of the convention center. And what I have is something that's a first time ever. This is it. This is a 2023 Ram 2500 HD. But guess what? This is now a Ram Rebel. But before we get into this full-size, full work duty and off-road machine, let's talk about what's going on here. Ram, they really have changed the truck industry for the better. Just a few years ago, making major changes to their interior, their power plants, and their overall exterior options. Now, for 2023, it's interesting because the big three, Ram, Ford, and General Motors are all redoing their big 2500 HD trucks. And with this particular one, now we're bringing that off-road worthiness to it. So what I want to find out is, is this better? The better big bad truck to buy over a Ford Super Duty? Let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the size. When you go HD, you are going big. And with this Ram Rebel, it has specific styling changes. So up front, you're gonna see our full LED headlights, still running the same overall general headlight housing, but you can see our LED daytime running lamp, working our way down. Of course, we have our steel bumpers and LED fog lamps. Now, this isn't a full redesign, which you'll be curious to see what they do down the road, but I do like the way the styling with the lighting still looks very fresh and modern, and of course you had those fog lamps down below. Now, as you come across the front grill section, this is gonna be specific to that Ram Rebel. So all flat satin black with your blacked out Ram badge. You do have active aero shutters that are gonna open and close, of course, to allow more or less air to open into that radiator area. And then working our way down, massive tow hooks. These are gonna be able to pull those Ford Super Duties out of the mud, out of the dirt. And then down below, underneath, you do get skid plates. So this isn't something like they're just putting a different grill and a different hood. You're actually getting skid plate protection underneath it, hence the whole Rebel connection. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you notice that big muscular bulge. We have, of course, that center functional scoop, and then just really nice, bold lines. When we go around the bend, with this Rebel trim, you are getting specific wheels and tires. So when we get to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice you get an eight lug pattern. Now, if you've ever wondered what's the difference between five lugs, four lugs, obviously this wheel is gonna be stronger attached to the hub. That's why we have the eight lug set up for that extreme towing and off-road duty. This wheel is specific to the Ram Rebel, machined aluminum on the outside with your satin black spokes. You'll notice that we have those Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires, those Duratrac off-road tires. This is specific for the Ram Rebel. And then I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and show the Bilstein shock absorbers, that bright blue. That's another option for the Ram Rebel to give us a little bit more ground clearance. When we get up onto the side of the hood, we gotta show that 2500 HD badging with the venting, very, very strong, muscular, powerful hood. And then of course we have the Cummins turbo diesel. You do have different engine options. This one has the turbo diesel setup. Massive power extendable mirrors for when you're towing. Love the two-tone setup. That's another thing. And I'm not really a big fan of red trucks. When I think red truck, I think fire truck, but it really fits the HD very well. You got your Ram badge on the side, the painted, this isn't, like emblem or vinyl, painted on the bottom portion, the black. We do have these nice, not only running boards, but also rock slider protection underneath. That is actual metal that's gonna help protect the frame if you are doing some off-roading. Here, we talk about how Ram has changed the truck industry. We do have, of course, our compartments where you could put your tools, you could put all of your Twinkies in here. Easily fit 250 Twinkies in your Ram box. Lock it up so none of your friends who have the munchies eat all of your Twinkies, of course. You could see that box frame setup, massive to take the beating and then look at the exhaust coming down from that Cummings turbo diesel engine. 
that thing will freaking suck up a small pickup truck right off that exhaust tailpipe. Now, when we swing around the back, I'm actually gonna do two things. First of all, we're gonna close this. Second of all, I just wanna showcase the LED lighting. Simple, I would like to see what changes Ram is eventually gonna bring. And then of course, coming to the back portion, you have your satin black on the Ram badging, your four by four, dropping it all the way down, massive tow hook areas for your towing. And then of course, that big, huge rear differential back there, that massive pumpkin, obviously, front lockers, rear lockers, all your tow connections, and then we'll bring this down. Nice soft release, bed liner, and you could see the intricate system there that actually is able to be moved forward and backward depending if you have short items in there or longer items so that they're not rolling around and you get the tonneau cover, which is another nice touch. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior of this big bad Ram Rebel and see what it's about. All right, guys, we're inside this Ram 2500 HD Rebel. First time they're ever doing a Rebel on this truck. I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, Joe, what about the price? What about the nitty gritty? MSRP starting on this truck is around $68,000. Let's see how it stacks up to the Ford, to the door panels. You get that same great elevated style. Nice soft touch material, contrast stitching, and this really intricate black trim. It's not gloss black. It's got like almost like a fish scale appearance to it. I'm really digging it. Dark chrome on the door handle there, and then everything else is gonna be nice flat black. You'll see that you have in the middle two areas. One area is for two Twinkies. The other one is for two Ding Dongs. And then down below, you could easily get a 12 inch meatball sub with extra parm and 64 fluid ounces of Mountain Dew. Now going from the door panel to the dash, this is what I was telling you about. Ram brings it to another level. The piping, the stitching, love the Rebel name. Watch this, one, two, three, open sesame. Now you can fit two boxes of Girl Scout cookies in there, maybe some Thin Mints, some do -si Do's. Lock it up, you're the Rebel. Coming on over to the center stack, this was revolutionary just a few years ago. That 12 inch portrait style vertical display. It's got all the great systems to it. Obviously, clear graphics, and you could go, you could basically launch a rocket into space with this uh, infotainment system. But you got all your different climate controls, you could go into your vehicle settings. This has, of course, 33 inch tires. You got your choice of the two different engines the 6.4 liter Hemi or the 6.7 liter, liter turbo diesel. Let's see if we could get these cameras. I wish we could get these cameras to work, but we can't because we're at the auto show. That would have been fun to kind of spy on some people, even off-road mode. Make your adjustments with those 33-inch tires. You could tow up to 16,000 pounds with this thing with the Cummins turbo diesel. There's your lockers, transfer case, pitch and roll. You got disabling uh, anti-roll bars and everything else. And then you go right back to home. Love the toggle switches. Over here on the driver's side, this is gonna be your heavy duty two wheel drive, four wheel drive, high and low, hill descent control, axle lock. You got a nice little slot here for some Jolly Ranchers, two USB C's, two USB A's, and an aux jack. Place to hold your phone for some wireless charging. Easily put a Tom Brady signed football. Maybe not really huge here in California, but definitely in Tampa Bay. We got two cup holders. Look at this. This is where you're gonna be able to keep all of your special little trinkets that you collected through your years of traveling, maybe little polished rocks, some keychains, some buttons, some pins, and then slide it away. The Ram Rebel badge, soft touch, watch this. Open it up, felt lining here, USB-A. I would say easily you could probably put about 10 diamonds here, Hope Diamonds. So if you're a billionaire, put your diamonds there. Open it up even further. There's that tray if you want more space. I mean, this has more room than my college dorm room had. Plus, you got all the measurements on the back. So if you fail math, you could actually get all your math, math, math readings here to help with your abacus. And then your seats, the piping, the leather, the ram, the rebel, stitching, 
soft, ventilated, heated, multi-positionable. This is where trucks are not like trucks from the past. And you got a standard size sunroof. I'm gonna zonk it. That should be a panoramic sunroof. But get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Ram Rebel. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do get two memory seat settings and please excuse the chiming. This one is at the auto show. It's hooked up to a power inverter and that's what's happening. I'm six feet tall, swimming in space in here. Steering wheel, the leather, the stitching. You got that Ram staring at your right smack dab in the center, getting ready to lock the horns. Flat black on the buttons. And then of course you got that massive digital display. Love the graphics, the fonts, really cleans everything up. I actually like it better than the hybrid setup with the digital in the center and the analog instrumentation. So they did a great job there. The one thing that's missing is gonna be the head up display. That's a little bit of a zonk. And then of course you got the seat controls. Easy, easy to get to. Nice, multi-positionable. And you got the two memory seat settings. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the back seat and see how your family and your friends are gonna like riding in your Ram. Hey guys, Rebel. back seat time in this Ram 2500 HD Rebel. Lots of space back here. I mean, it's really ridiculous. Nice large pockets. Easily put, I would say, a pair of cowboy spurs. So if you're going out to your ranch to do a little horseback riding, you could get your chaps. I know you already have them on and have your spurs ready to rock and roll. Back area, nice command center. You got your AC vents. You got two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and a home power source. Heated seats, I'm telling you, Ram does it so well with the amount of connectivity you have. And then the room is just ridiculous in here, especially with the way they have the speakers nicely mounted in the headliner, armrest. I would like a little bit more armrest. All this is is a cup holder rest, so I am gonna zonk that. But I guess if you go like that, but the problem is you're gonna do this. But anyways, we're here at the LA Auto Show. I can't wait to get behind the wheel and go on throttle in this big bad boy. But until that day happens, let's wrap it up from the LA Auto Show. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at the LA Auto Show. Definitely wanna thank everybody over at Ram for getting us access to this truck. Let me know what you think. Did Ram make the right move, bringing the Rebel name over to the 2500 HD, especially with the 33 inch tires and the lift and everything in between? Let me know in that comment section. Plus, is this better than the new Super Duty? That's another big question mark. Put your comments in that section. But until we meet another day, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to Lori Rady working that camera like a champ. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.